Hi everyone. Today we're going to create a game called Galactic Ghost. In this game, you have to control the ghost using the arrow keys on your keyboard to avoid being hit by deadly space worms. This game also includes points, sound effects, and ambient music. We're going to be using Scratch to create this game. And hey, if you're new to Scratch or you need a refresher, I suggest that you check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube, which will get you up to speed pretty quickly. I also suggest that you follow me and subscribe because I'll be posting videos quite regularly. Anyways, let's get going with our game today, Galactic Ghost. So I'm here at Scratch already, scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click the Create button because we're creating a brand new game today. If a tutorial pops up, you can exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the cat, so I'm going to click the garbage can, goodbye to the cat. I'm going to get a space background. Uh, there's a few for you to choose from. You can choose whichever one you like. I happen to like stars, so I'm going to go with stars. And you're going to get a ghost sprite. So I'm going to go way down here, and I'm going to click on choose a sprite, and I'm going to get a ghost, spr ghost sprite. It's down here a little bit ghost right there I like the ghost perfect hey the ghost is a little bit big for my game so I'm gonna make him smaller you can see here he's 100% right now so I'm gonna click there and make him 50% that's a good size for my game today now we're gonna control the ghost using the arrow keys on your keyboard and I'm gonna show you how to code that right now look I'm gonna go over to the uh, control button no, I'm sorry, the events button right there. And I'm going to get this one, space key is pressed. When space key is pressed. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger for you to see at home or at school, wherever you happen to be coding today. Now, instead of space key, I'm going to click this little arrow, this triangle right here. And I'm going to go down to right arrow. And we're going to control the ghost using the arrow keys and XY coordinates. So to change the ghost's direction, to make him go to the right, right arrow key I'm gonna to go to the motion button and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna change his X coordinate by 10 so when I hit the right arrow key on my keyboard he should go over 10 spaces to the right let's just test it already green flag right arrow key perfect he moved 10 watch he's moving 10 fantastic okay now I'm gonna have him go left so watch how I do that I'm gonna get another one of these when space arrow key is pressed I'm going to click this and make it left arrow key and then I'm going to go get to the motion and get another change X by 10 right there okay let's see how that works ready green flag right arrow key perfect left arrow key uh oh he's going the wrong way he should be going to the left well that's because I told him to change his X coordinates by 10 what we want him to do is change his X coordinates by negative 10 or minus 10 so the negative button is right by the zero on your keyboard, so minus 10 steps. So now, right and left, perfect. So I got him going back and forth, right and left. So those are his X coordinates, X and negative X. So now I'm gonna get him to go up and down. Uh, I'm gonna go and get another right uh, space arrow key. I'm gonna change that to the up arrow. And now we're gonna use the Y coordinates. X's go left and right, Y's go up and down. So I'm going to go to the motion, change Y by 10. He should go up. Perfect. I'm going to get one more of these. Space arrow, space arrow key, and make this uh, down arrow. Change Y by negative 10. Change Y by negative 10. There we go. So now I'm controlling the ghost with my arrow keys on my keyboard. Left, right, up, and down. And I'm doing that by using the X and Y coordinates. So I'm going to pause there, let everybody get caught up. Go to scratch.mit.edu. Get rid of the ghost. Get uh, a backdrop that you like, a space backdrop. I got the stars one. And then get a ghost from your sprites. Uh, choose a sprite key down here. And then Code your ghost to go right, left, up, and down using the X and Y coordinates. So right arrow, change X by 10. Left arrow, change X by negative 10. Up arrow, change Y by 10. Down arrow, change Y by negative 10. I'll pause now, let everybody get caught up, and when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. All right, so 
Now for a game, we should really have some points. So watch how I do that. I'm going to go to the variables button. I don't think we've used that one before. See right over here, it says variables. I'm going to click that one. And now I'm going to make a variable right there. Um, you could call it points, health, lives, whatever you want. I think I'm going to call it um, lives right there and press OK. So right now I've got zero lives, which is fine. I'm going to change that. So at the beginning of the game, I'm going to have 10 lives to start with. So watch how I do that. I'm going to go to the events button right there and I'm going to get a green flag. When the green flag is clicked, let's set my lives to 10. And then every time I get hit by one of the space worms, I lose a, a life. So when the green flag is clicked, we should set the lives to 10. So now I'm going to go back to variables. That's our points and health and lives uh, button right there. And I'm going to set right there. I'm going to set our lives to 10. So when the green flag is clicked at the beginning of the game, uh, the lives should be set to 10. Let's just double check that. Ready? Green flag and go. Perfect, I have 10 lives to start the game. Let's also make our ghost start in the middle of the screen right here, zero, zero at the beginning. So now I'm gonna go to the motion button, the blue one. We've done all this in previous lessons. Uh, so I'm hoping that this isn't too new for everybody, but if it is, you'll catch on pretty quickly. Go to uh, zero, zero, that's the center of the screen. So when the green flag is clicked, set my lives to 10 and go to zero, zero. And then we want the ghost to explain how to play or what to do in this game really quickly. So I'm going to go to the looks button right there and I'm going to grab say hello. And I'm going to click in this box here and I'm going to write down um, escape the space worms or something like that. And um, whoops, worms. And I'm going to make it for uh, four seconds because nobody can read that quickly. So. When the green flag is clicked, we set our variable lives to 10. You can see it there. The ghost is going to start in the middle of the screen and it's going to say something like, escape the space worms. So let's just see if that works. I'm just going to move it over here to test it out. Okay, ready, green flag and go. All right, he's in the middle. He's saying escape, escape the space worms and my lives are at 10. So I'm just going to pause there, let everybody catch up. Remember to make lives or health or points or whatever, go to the variables button right there click on make a variable then you can call it whatever you want health lives death whatever and press ok and then we're gonna set right there set your lives or health or whatever to 10 to start the game you have to click on the one that you created um, and then of course ghost should go to zero zero and this and say something about the game so i'm gonna pause let everybody catch up if you're stuck please please look at my code and i'll see you when you're ready for the next part All right, next part, let's go get those space worms and code them to move all over the screen. So I'm gonna go way down here to the choose a sprite button right down there. And the space worms are actually the puffer fish, uh, but I think they look good for this game. So I'm gonna go down and find the puffer fish right there. You could choose something else if you like. I like the puffer fish, so right there. Uh, I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller. It's awfully big right now. See the puffer fish is 100%. I'm gonna make them something like 40%. There, that's better. And now we're going to code the puffer fish to move all around the screen like we've done in previous lessons and bounce if he's on the edge. So watch how I do that. Uh, when the green flag is clicked, um, forever, I'm going to go down here, forever move 10 steps. So move 10 steps is an emotion, move 10 steps. And if he's on the edge to bounce, because look what happens. Remember what happens if you just leave it like this? He'll just hit the edge and just stay there. So we want him to bounce off those edges. So I'm going to go down here. If on edge, bounce. So green flag, move 10 steps. If you're on the edge, bounce and do that forever and ever. The puffer fish. Let's see how that looks. Ready, green flag and go. That's great, except he's just going back and forth. That's not a very difficult game if he does that. We want him to move in a random direction at first. So remember what we're going to do. We're going to go and have him turn before he starts his forever moving 10 steps. So green flag, have him turn 15 degrees or so, and then forever move 10 steps, and if he hits the edge, bounce. Green flag and go. So there he goes. Now he's going all over the place in a random way. That makes the game more fun. And I'm gonna do something else. If he touches the ghost, 
the points go down. So watch how I do that. I'm going to get another green flag. Again, you can have lots of green flags. When the green flag is clicked, um, if touching ghost, if right there in a the control, if touching the ghost, touching is a sense. So it's in the sensing button right there. Touching. I know it says mouse pointer, but we're going to change that like we've done before. I'm just going to drag it over there and let go and it should pop right in there. Perfect. If touching the ghost, so I'm going to click that little triangle, ghost. If touching ghost, then change your lives by negative one. So I'm going to go to the variables, change um, lives by minus one. Take away a point, take away a, a life. So ready? Green flag. If touching the ghost, so if our puffer fish is touching the ghost, change the lives points by negative one. Let's see if that works. Ready, set, and go. Oh, the points aren't going down. Look at that. That's funny. Let me test it again. Ready, green flag, and go. And it's still not going down. Well, that's because we didn't code it quite properly. The computer checked right away when the green flag was clicked, but it never checked again. We wanted to check forever and ever, every like a hundred times a second. So I'm going to go to the control and get a forever loop. So forever check to see if touching the ghost. And if it is touching the ghost, change the points or lives by negative one. Ready, green flag and go. Let's see if this works. Oh, our points went way down. We don't want that. So I have a little trick for you. When the puffer fish touches a ghost, Change the lives by negative one, and then we want the puffer fish to go to a random spot somewhere else to make the game more tricky. So I'm gonna to go to the motion button right there. Go to a random position or a random place. So, green flag, forever check to see if touching the ghost. If it is touching the ghost, change the points by negative one and go to a random spot. Green flag, go. Let's see if this works. Perfect, he went to a random spot and a point was taken off. Nice, nice, perfect. I think I've coded the puffer fish pretty well right now. So I'm gonna pause. Um, I'm gonna ask you now to go and get a puffer fish or a space worm and then code it to turn 15 degrees and move 10 steps forever and ever. And if it does hit the edge, bounce off the edge. And also when the green flag is clicked forever, check to see if it's touching the ghost. And if it is touching the ghost, change the lives by negative one and go to a random position. And again, the touching is in the sensing button right there. So I'm just going to leave this up here for you to look at. Please copy my code if you get stuck. And when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. Okay, now that we've got our space worm or puffer fish coded just right, everything is perfect here. Now we're gonna duplicate it a couple of times to make the game even harder. So look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my mouse pointer right here in the puffer fish. Please careful not to hit the garbage can. I'm gonna put in a puffer fish right there. I'm gonna put two fingers on the touchpad and duplicate it. Takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it, it's easy. Um, two fingers don't have them right beside each other. Spread them apart a little bit and push down on the uh, touch uh, pad and then duplicate it. I'm gonna make three space worms. If you wanna make it harder, you can have four or five. I think three is pretty good, but it's up to you. I have three of these puffer worms, uh, puffer fish. Ready, green flag, and go. Look at that, how hard this game is gonna be. They're all moving in different directions. That's gonna be very difficult. So I'm just gonna pause. Now look, my points went down to zero and nothing happened. The game just continues. We wanna fix that. So if the lives equal zero, everything stops. So look what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the ghost. I'm gonna get another green flag. When the green flag is clicked, and we wanna set it up so that if lives equal zero, game stops. So watch how I do that. Green flag, if, if, it's in the control. If points equal zero, if the lives equal zero. So um, live, so I'm gonna go to this operators. I don't think we've used that one yet, right there. Do you see that operators button right there? It's green, and I'm going to get this one that says equals right there. And I'm going to slide it right into the if statement right there and let go. Um, if lives equals zero, so if the lives equals zero, now I'm going to get the word lives in there. Well, the word lives is in variables right there. Look, 
I'm going to grab the word lives and drag it in there. So if your lives equals zero, then stop all. And I think stop all is in the, in the control one, the orange one. Just go down a little bit. Yep, there it is right there. Stop all. If the lives equal zeros, then stop all. But one last thing, I'm going to put a forever loop around the if statement because I want the computer to forever check the points. Like keep checking over and over 100 times a second. And when the lives equal zero, then stop everything. So let's test this out. The game should start with 10 lives. And every time a puffer fish hits the ghost, the puffer fish goes to a random place and my lives go down one. And when the lives equal zero, everything stops. Ready, green flag and go. Oh. I'm good at coding these games, but I'm not very good at playing these games. Okay, everything stopped. Perfect. The code worked really well. So I'm going to pause. Uh, I'd like you to uh, duplicate the puffer fish or the space worms and get two or three of them, maybe more if you want. And then code it so that when the green flag is clicked, the computer is forever checking to see if the lives equals zero. And when the lives does equal zero, stop all. So, good luck with that. When you're done, I'll be here waiting for you for the next part. Okay, last part. We're going to add some sound effects, some music, and a title to make it look really good. So, first I'm going to do the title. So, I'm going to go way down here to the Sprites button, but I'm not going to click it. I'm going to click on the paintbrush right there. Do you see the paintbrush? I'm going to click on the paintbrush. Now I'm going to choose a color that's good for a title with this black backdrop, but I'm going to stick with purple. You can choose whatever color you want. I'm going to stay with purple. Then I'm going to click on the T for text right there, T for text. Then I'm going to choose a font that I like, and the font that I like for this one, although I like pixel and curly, I'm going to choose marker today. So marker, I'm going to click down here, and I'm going to write down uh, gal galactic ghost like that. Now I'm going to click here. I'm going to grab a corner and make it a lot bigger. Uh, drag it over a bit until you get a good size. I think that's a good size for now. So now I'm going to go over here and grab it and drag it down to the bottom right there. So just a reminder how I did that. I went down to the sprites button. I clicked on the paintbrush button. Then I chose a color that I liked. I chose the letter T for text. I chose a font that I liked. And then I wrote down Galactic Ghost and made it a little bit bigger so it fits on the screen right there. So now I'm going to go back to the code button right there, code. There's no code for the words Galactic Ghost for Sprite 1, but I can do something with it. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the events, get the green flag, and I want it to show for a little while this title and then disappear or hide. So I'm going to go to the looks button and get a show. So green flag show. Then I'm going to go to the control, get a wait button. I'm going to have the computer wait for like four seconds. And then back to the looks button and get a hide. So when the green flag is clicked, I want the uh, title Galactic Ghost to show. Wait four seconds and then hide. Let's see if that works. Ready, green flag? Okay, one, two, three, four. There it goes, it hides. Perfect, okay, so my title shows. Wait for a little bit and then hides. That's great. Now I'm going to go back to the ghost. And I'm going to get some music in here. So I'm going to go um, to the sounds button right there. Do you see the sounds right up there? I'm going to click on sounds. I'm going to go way down here and choose a sound. Choose a sound. And I'm going to go to the effects uh, button right there. Effects. And uh, the background music I want is called space noise. There's two of them. There's space uh, noise, and then there's space ambient. There's others, but I think it, these are the best ones, but you can choose. I think I'm going to choose space noise today, so I'm going to double click that. There's space noise, and now look how I'm going to code it. Again, I'm on the ghost. I'm going to get another green flag. So when the green flag is clicked, play space noise. So the sounds, of course, are in the sound button right there. Play space noise until done. And I'm just going to put a forever looper on it. So forever play that over and over again. That piece of music. There. So green flag. Forever play space noise until done. And then play it again and again. Let's just see if that works. Yeah, I like that. Great. Now 
Now, a couple more things. When the puffer fish hits the ghost, when the puffer fish hits the ghost, we want to make a, a sound effect. So I'm going to go to puffer fish. And if it's touching the ghost, we're going to put a sound effect in there. And the sound that I want is called zoop. So I'm going to go way down here, choose a sound again, go to the effects, and it's the very bottom one, I think. You can choose whatever you want. I like zoop. Like that. So zoop. So, uh, back to the code. Again, I'm on the puffer fish. If touching the ghost, play sound zoop until done. And um, change lives by one and random position. So there's that one. I'm going to do that for puffer fish two and puffer fish three. So I have to, again, go to the sounds, go down here, choose a sound, go to the effects, click on zoop. And then back to code. And for the second puffer fish, play sound zoop until done. And then change the points and random position and do the same thing for this last puffer fish. And the final thing I want to do, uh, when the game is over, when lives equal zero, instead of stopping right away, I'm going to put another sound effect in there. And the one I want is called boom cloud. Um, and I'm going to go to the sound. So I'm on the ghost. Uh, I'm going to go to sounds, I'm going to go down here, choose a sound, and I'm going to go to effects, and the one I want is called Boom Cloud, where is it, right there, right there, Boom Cloud, so back to code, so on the ghost, if lives equals zero, play sound Boom Cloud, and stop all, right there. So when the game's over, you're going to hear this boom cloud sound and everything's going to stop. So that's our game for today. I hope you enjoyed that one. I know you're going to like our next one. I look forward to seeing you at our next activity. And if you get stuck, please look at my code. Once again, there's the uh, code for the title. That's a pretty simple code. There's the code for the puffer fish, especially with the sound effect that I put in there called Zoop. And there's the sound of, uh, there's the uh, final code for the ghosts. I'll just move this down here so you can see it. Now you can leave this open and look at my code if you ever get stuck. Thanks again, everybody. I hope you have a good day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at our next activity. Bye.